Uh, no, my overall thought really on the game is that it was a game based around who was going to be the, the most disciplined in the end. Um, we, we fell on the wrong side of the referee's decisions in the first half. Um, we paid the price for that. Um, you know, we conceded uh, fairly early and we soaked up a lot of pressure defensively as a result of poor discipline. And um, I think um, it would be fair to say that Mosley, uh, you know, can, can argue the point they lost the game because of their discipline in the second half. You know, having three and sometimes four guys in the bin at one stage. So I'm just very happy to come away with um, with a bonus point victory, really, and what ended up in a scrappy affair towards the end. Very, very tough side, Mosley, and. Um, I think they're going to cause teams, well they have caused teams a lot of problems up to this point but they're going to continue to cause uh, the future uh, fixtures that they've got against other teams uh, in the same manner and um, you know they'll, they'll be a tough side and uh, they'll, be, um, they'll be a team that you won't want to be, fa be facing in the last uh, four or five games of the season for sure. Yeah it was always a difficult one for Will because obviously he's coming up against his old club um, felt the pressure of, of wanting to perform against them I suppose and um, I think Will was fairly solid on, on the day uh, without being spectacular um, he would be very happy with the with the victory, but he'd be disappointed to have to have left the field with, with, with a nasty bang on the knee. So uh, I think Will's happy he can, he can go home now and mix with his friends and family a little bit, knowing that um, he's, he's 1 0 up in, uh, in the two leg fixture against Mosley. I'm glad, I'm glad Rathie's got on the try, uh, on the try uh, sheet again because uh, he's, his footwork and his attacking ability has been very good in training, and that's what's warranted him the opportunity uh, in the side. Um, you know, Curtis has played very well up to this point, and Keats has been injured. so. We've tried Jack Hayes there a little bit uh, for some tactical reasons in a couple of games and it's been Rathie's turn now and he's done really well. Um, I don't think he played perhaps as well as he did last week in Bristol, um, but um, he's definitely performing really well and he looks comfortable at championship level, which, which is great because um, it just adds competition for places, which is what we want. I don't have a huge amount of history on the players, so I'm making some judgments based on three or four months of, of working with them really, which is a good way, good in some in some aspects because you're you're looking at players with a with a clean slate and a fresh pair of eyes, but um, also you, you, you take a little while to work out what some strengths and weaknesses are on other players as well. So at the moment I'm still working on combinations, I'm still looking at players, trying to find out um, you know if they if they fit into what is you know looks our most comfortable uh, team both attack and defence and I'm a lot clearer than I was uh, two or three months ago for sure but there's players like Rafi still coming in and impressing so I think a good thing for me is I feel I can, can select from a good group of players and whichever team is selected by myself and, and Steve uh, you know we'll know we'll have a, a decent performance out of that group.